So here I've joined a few pieces of wood and I use a mortise and tenon system. So the joints are very strong and what I've done is I've tapered the mortise and that way it allows me to add in some wedges. So this is such a strong joint it won't come apart but after the glue sets for a couple days I can see if I can take it apart. I'll put a jack on it and crank on it and see if I can rip it apart. So to start out we'll use a couple of 2x4s and I will join them like this. So here I've drilled out the mortise and I'll just square it up with the chisel. So now I'm going to taper the ends of the mortise and I'll just use a file. So here I have the mortises cut and tapered and now I can go to the table saw and cut the tenons. So I got my mortise and tenon all cut up and it fits very snug. And because my mortise is angled, I will have to put some wedges in the tenon. So I will cut two kerfs in the tenon and then put two wedges in. So I'm now going to drill out these holes in the tenon and they will be strain relief holes. And now the two curves with the bandsaw. So here is my mortise and tenon joint. I sanded it down a bit and the thing is in there really tight. So what I have here is a two ton jack. I will place it under here and put this piece in here and I'll keep turning and we'll see where it's going to break here, here 
or here. I think it'll break here. Well, there it is. So there's the wedge and it split the wood. And the bottom one, it didn't even budge. So that is one strong joint.